Hello there everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video I'm going to be showing some things from the Golden West Champ Model Horse Show that I went to, and more specifically, the models that I bought there. But before we get into that, I want to first tell you about Snups. Snups is an app for organizing and sharing what you collect. This app can be used for anything that you collect, including model horses. Now, if you're like me, where you forget what model horses you have and don't have, well, this app is a great way to keep track of them. This app is also a great way to just view other people's collections, or to even purchase what people are selling out of their collections. This app is a neat platform to buy and sell. For example, on my profile, I have a shelf dedicated to just the Briar models that I have currently for sale on eBay. You can also connect the app to your eBay account and list items on eBay directly from Snups. Perhaps my favorite feature of the app is the ability to organize photos of your items into different collections, which are called shelves. For your model horses, you could do them by brand, size, mold, color, name, sew string, etc. Just whatever you would like that works for you. I personally think this app is especially fun for organizing your models by color. I know for myself, my models are typically organized by mold on my real life shelves, so I think organizing them by color on the app is pretty cool and interesting. As you can see here, I have a shelf of some of my Appaloosa models all together. I think it's really cool to just see them in this way. The possibilities are really endless on what you can do for organizing your stuff. Something I really like that I've noticed some other model horse users on Snups do is create a shelf of your model horse grails or just models that you have on your wish list. I'm always finding new things that I want to add to my collection. So this is a great way to keep track of that. You also have the option to make certain shelves private if you don't want anyone else to see them. But for the shelves you do want others to see, a great way to share them is to get connected with others that collect the same things you do. You can do this by following others and join groups dedicated to what you collect on Snups. I started a group called Stormy's Model Horses that I encourage you all to join as it is a fun way to share your collections and start discussions about model horses. You can also follow me on Snups. My username is at Stormy Strike, just like my Instagram account, so it is easy to find. So come download the app and set up an account, which is really easy and quick to do. Then you can follow me and join my group, and I will follow you back too. Now on to the video, which some of the models I will be talking about in this video are also in my traditional OF Briar Horses shelf on my Snups profile, so you can also view them there. So the show I went to was actually all the way back in October, but I've been so busy I just did not have the chance to make this video. The show was called Golden West Championship Show, and it was basically a champ show for the West Coast area of model horse showing or region two of model horse shows. It was a three day show, but I only went on the first day, that was the Friday, and that Friday was actually not showing at all. It was just vending and buying and selling models, which was really cool, I thought. And then the Saturday and Sunday were the show days, but I was not able to go to those. So one thing that was really cool is one of the co-hosts actually asked me if I would do like a little workshop thing there. And so that's what I did. And you can see the little videos of my little workshop area. And I was focusing on fantasy customs. That's what she wanted me to do. So that's what I did, although like there wasn't a lot of people there and not like a whole lot of interest that much in the workshops. So it wasn't like a crazy big deal or anything, but it was still really cool that she had asked me to do that. And it was kind of fun to have like a little workshop area set up, even though I didn't actually end up doing all that much. And then you can also see how I set up my table for things I had for sale. Some of these things I do have up on eBay right now. Um, I did sell a couple little things. I sold like one model and then a couple of little things at the show, which was cool. Now on to telling you about the models that I actually bought at the show. I went to the show and I did not really expect to buy very much, but I found just some really nice models for really great prices and I couldn't help myself. I actually did end up spending a little bit of the money I've been saving up for Briarfest 2018, but I think it's okay because I'm really happy with what I got. First off, I bought a bunch of bodies from Sage or Briar Lover Forever on Instagram. I got a Peter Stone. I have a blue Peter Stone, like, reigning horse 
And so I was like, well, might as well get this guy. I thought he was pretty cool and my mom actually really, really liked him. So I also got him because she really loved him for some reason. The next one I got was also a Peter Stone actually. This is like an Appaloosa on the raining mold. I don't know, I just I just really liked him, thought he was cool, and I kind of like that mold, so there you go. Then I also got this guy, which I actually already have. This is the Let's Go Riding Pinto Horse Cody mold. Anyway, the reason I got him is actually because I used him. I bought him specifically to be used as a prop in my movie that I talked about in one of my recent videos. So you're going to see more of him because he was in my short film I did for my college class. So just keep your eye out for him in future videos. Then I got this cigar custom body. He's not in the best shape, but I thought he was still like a really interesting custom. I don't really know what color he's supposed to be. He's very weird and interesting looking, but I thought he was kind of cool. And then on the sham mold, is that correct? I hope that's the mold's name and I'm not messing that up. But I got uh, SSS uh, Shameless, I believe is his name. Anyway, I don't know. I thought he was kind of pretty, so I got him as well. And then I also got this really cute little custom mini Winnie that Sage has had for a while. I've seen him around like in the show ring and stuff, I believe. And I was like, ah, eh, I had to get him. I thought he was just so cute. So there he is. Really neat little little custom mini Winnie. And on the ground here is just a bunch of little Zootopia figures that Sage was also selling and I was just like, those are really cute. I haven't seen those before and I love Zootopia. So I went ahead and got those too. And then this is the original silver. Now I actually already have a silver and I even did a video of when I got it and I'll put that little video link up in the little card section on the right hand corner of the screen but yes I already bought a silver before but the one I bought was still new in box and I just haven't been able to take him out because I just don't want to take him out because he looks so nice in his neat box and so I decided I want to keep that one how it is and instead I am also just bought this guy out of the box so now I have one in the box and out of the box which I think is pretty cool and besides they have little different variations too so I thought it was really cool to get another one of these guys. I really, really like him, and I'm really happy to now have one that I can just kind of play with, in a sense, and not have to feel freaked out about whether or not I should take it out of the box. Now, kind of surprisingly, the next horse is also a silver. I don't, like, actively collect this mold, but I have quite a lot of them now for some reason, because I just keep liking certain ones. But this is a uh, Hoite. I don't really know how to pronounce his name, so I'm not going to try it again. But he is a Briarfest special run from several years ago. I've been wanting him for a while. I almost bought him once or twice at the last couple times I went to Briarfest. And I kind of always regretted, regretted that I didn't buy him. So I was really happy that Heather was selling him and I was able to pick him up for a good price. Super excited. I think he is just absolutely gorgeous. I just love the models that have the Native American markings on them. I think they are just really, really cool. And speaking of buying models that I regretted not buying before, I bought this really cool Longhorn Bowl. There's like two that are kind of similar and so I get them mixed up, but either is this one or one that's very similar was at an estate sale before for like $75 and I really wanted him but I had like overspent already at that estate sale on a bunch of other briars. Again, I think I have a video way back when showing this, but yeah, I was really, really sad I didn't get that bowl. And so Heather was selling this guy for a good price and so I had to snatch him up. I absolutely love him. I don't know why, but I really like the briar longhorns. I think they're just absolutely adorable. So recently when I've been going to places like the briar swap meets or model horse shows, it seems like I've been kind of buying molds that I don't like actively collect, but I like those particular particular ones and so I've ended up with a bunch of models on molds that I'm not actively trying to conga, but I just now happen to have a bunch of them. And for this particular trip, Lady Faze was one of those models as I ended up actually buying three of her. This is the Lady Faze treasure hunt. 
Appaloosa long tail variation model and I just really like her. I think she is so pretty. I do love Lady Faze quite a bit. I have some sentimental value towards this mold that I'll talk about in another video later on. And then the next Lady Faze I got is also one of the treasure hunt Lady Fazes. This is also a long tailed version but of the flea bitten gray one. She is really pretty. Again, this is a model that, like in pictures and stuff, I never really wanted her. But seeing her in person and seeing her for a, a pretty nice price too, I was like, Ugh, I need to get her because she is really pretty. And I just, I just really like her and I love the little snip on her nose. She is just super adorable. Then the third lady face I got is a Black Horse Ranch special run. And Heather had just a ton of these and so she was selling them really cheap because she had so many of them that she needed to move. So this is a really cute set of a solid black lady phase and her cute little foal. I thought the foal was really cute. I like the little spots on him. And then here's lady phase, really pretty, just a nice solid black. And then she has a little white sock on her hind leg. And she is the short tailed version of the mold. This set's name, by the way, is Night Deck and Night Vision. They are limited edition of 15,000 from Black Horse Ranch. This next model is actually one of my first purchases of the day because I knew right away that I wanted her. And it is the chalky version of Hiwin. I really don't know how to pronounce her name, so I'm just not even gonna try again. I love this model. I love the Forever Siege mold. I have a complete conga of the Forever Siege mold and I'm super glad that I found the chalky version of this regular run. So if you don't know, there have been several chalky versions of this run popping up at specifically, I believe, only Tractor Supply Company. They may have been at other stores as well, but for example, the retailer I go to, the Broken Horn, I have never seen any chalky ones there. I bought my regular, non-chalky, regular, regular run version of her there, but I have not seen a chalky there. Now this is a Peter Stone. His name is Silver Starburst, I believe, and he is a regular run from 2000. I was really happy to get him because I love the Peter Stone Ish mold. I have quite a huge conga of them now, and whenever I come across them for a affordable-ish price, I was really excited to get this guy because I do not have a Blue Roan-ish at all yet, so I'm really happy to add this guy to my conga and a color that I don't have yet. So he is really pretty. Just love his coloring. Love his little face markings. Super, super cute model. And speaking of congas, I had to get a model on one of the molds that I conga the most, which is the Foundation Stallion. One of my favorite molds because of childhood nostalgia mostly. But I had to get this guy. He is an Azteca. I already have like three of them, I believe. But the thing is, they are the resist splatter dappleds ones, which means basically every single one is different from each other, and I love that. I love the variations in them. And now on to the last two models that I bought. One is a Briar Justin Morgan, and I already have this one, I believe, but this guy was really cheap and in better condition than the one I have. So I went ahead and got him because I thought he was really cute and this is a mold that's really been growing on me. The next one is a Lady Roxana. So this is one of the molds that's kind of like Kim Sausage, if you've ever heard of Kim Sausage or Kimasabi, that briar mold that a lot of people like to hate on because the pr proportions of it are really strange. So Lady Roxana kind of is in that same ballpark, but I think she is really pretty for some reason. She was also just like cheap enough that I was like, you know what, I'm going to get her because I've always kind of been wanting one of her just because she is so strange looking and I think it's kind of neat. There you have it. Those were all the models I bought at the Golden West Model Horse Show. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's technically really, really late, but at least I got it done eventually, right? And if you are wondering, I will also be doing a video that I have been meaning to do for even longer, which is the placings I got at the last model horse show that I actually showed at. I am going to be doing a video on that. I just have not had the time, 
but that is on my list as one of the next videos I'm going to be doing very soon. So that is all. Thank you so much for Snups for sponsoring my video. You guys go ahead and check out their app. It is really cool and I think it is a fun way to have your collection and share them with others. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a really awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!